Hey everybody, it's Paul with Reporting Live from my sofa. How is everybody today? Y'all, we are coming off of that Amber Geiger trial. Oh my goodness, I am still emotionally worn out from it. I am sure most of you are too. But we are going to start getting caught back up with some of the other stuff that's going on. And it's almost a mainstay these days, y'all. You know if there's some stuff to catch up on. Fotos Dulos has his name in it. So, without further ado... Let's review! So, Michelle Traconas, the gal pal of Photos, has been granted a status hearing on short notice. It's going to be this Friday. Now, she was supposed to be in court on October 10th, like a few hours after Photos goes to court. Uh, but there's been the surprise hearing. Nobody's really saying what it's about, but some speculation is saying that it could be over like the condition of her release, whether it's by the state or the defense. So this will be very curious to see. Because on the 23rd, Photos was told to, in court, to keep his GPS properly charged. Like if it goes, to, well, first of all, if it's completely uncharged, then they can't track him, and that's bad, obviously. But if it falls beneath a certain thing, it's like, okay, charge this up, and he hasn't done it. So they kind of are reprimanding him about that or they will increase his bond. Now, what I think is so interesting about it is I'm like, how many chances does this guy get? You know what I'm saying? It's like, you know, why do they just keep doing this? And maybe they're just trying to get the murder charges on him. But I mean, I'm like, okay, so increase his bond. This guy seemingly has tons of money to throw at this. It's not a big deal to him. You know, so it's just bizarre to me. Obviously, there's a level of entitlement going on there. Both of them seem to need to be told what to do half the time so you know it is what it is but another big thing that's going on right now another big stink is that you know there's a gag order in place in the situation now and photos talked to a greek news outlet about jennifer doulos and essentially he was like you know she began removing herself away from me and she became you know like a big hermit and you know she has some psychological problems that i just wasn't aware of i didn't understand and of course, Norm Pattis, his lawyer, is like, no, he didn't do it, violate the gag order. That's silly. And da, 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 da. So, this Friday when he goes to court, it'll be very interesting to see what the judge says. To me, I think he violated it. It's like a gag order is a gag order. You don't talk about anything. You know, and you don't sit here and say, oh, well, technically it doesn't say this. It's like, no. If you, Why do you have to keep putting this stuff out there, especially slandering the victim? You know, just be done with it. You know, it, it just looks bad. It is what it is. So quit, you know, perpetuating this. So anyways, this is a quick little update about that. I hope everybody's doing well. Thank you for hanging out out. Stay tuned. We will be getting ready to follow some new cases. Also, we're going to be doing a new podcast on a different channel to kind of have that all there. And also, I'm doing another channel where I talk more about... I have, like, other interests besides true crime. And so, I'm going to be talking about, you know, like, just kind of pop culture. So, I'll be putting that out there, but be on the lookout for it. And, of course, I'll let you know when that comes. Because uh, I already talked to some of y'all about this kind of stuff. But I want to have, like, another channel to be able to go on, especially between these trials and talk about some lighter stuff. You know, like, what's Jeffree Star doing? What is the cast of Southern Charm doing? How is Love After Lockup? So, you know, things of this nature. So, anyways, thank you for hanging out. I look forward to talking to you. Check out the website down here, and I'll see you later.